this is our light. And then we want to render a few fragments, like, you know, all the pixels across the surface. So how do we do reflections? That's the first question, right? Let's say we take the vector going towards a specific fragment um, and then reflect that. So let's say we just bounce that one, right? So that means that this angle is the same as this angle and it's reflected around the normal here, right? A reminder, normal vector is the vector pointing out from the surface, just directly out from the surface, right? Now we can see that if we take the view vector, that's this vector right here, Again, it's normalized, so it should have the same length as just the length of one. So this is our view vector. And then we can reflect that one. You can imagine the view vector bouncing off the surface, and that's based on the normal. Uh, and then here, we then have the view reflection vector. Uh, so let's call it VR. What we can then do is that we now have the, we have the direction to the light source, right? And as usual, we can do the dot products. So we, if the view reflection is pointed directly towards the light source, we want it to be very strong, right? If the view reflection is pointing away from the light source, we want it to be very weak. So, so how does the view reflection change over the surface? Well, the view reflection, if we go sample this one right here, uh, the view reflection is going to point further away from it, because again, it's bouncing off of the surface based on the view vector. Um, so this one is going to point more and more away. So you can see that this one is going to be turning towards the light source here. Uh, and then if you go up further, uh, the reflection is going to be more and more uh, pointing upwards like this. So th it's the this one is pointing almost directly towards the light source. Uh, then it's going to be pointing uh, more and more uh, over like this. Uh, then it's going to start bouncing off here, where it's going to start to like really take off over there. So all of these green vectors, that's the reflection of the view vector from the camera, right? Like this. So what's left to do now is to do the dot product between the view reflection vector and the uh, light direction. It's a very matte, shiny reflection, right? But it does depend on the view direction, right? You can see that it kind of wraps around and changes. See what happens when we change the gloss value. If we go very high, you can see we get to a very shiny little highlight. 